Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a twist out using two different Camille Rose products. And we're gonna jump straight into the video. So I'm starting off with washed and deep conditioned hair. I do have the washing process of this routine up on my channel already. So I'll leave the link for that in the description box below. I had this towel on my hair for about 20 minutes after I got out of the shower. So on this side, I'm gonna be using the Camille Rose Curlade on its own without no oil or anything like that. I've sectioned my hair off into four already and I'm gonna apply it liberally all over each section on one side. I'm also spraying more water on my hair if I felt like it was a bit too dry because I do like a certain wetness in my hair. I don't like it to be too dry. I don't like it to be too wet. So I like it to be wet but not dripping wet. That makes sense i don't want it to be dripping wet so this curlade is really thick sometimes i think it's too thick for me it's a little bit difficult to spread evenly throughout the hair so i've been a little bit more careful when i when i'm applying this because i don't want to pull my strands out <laughs> i've used the curlade a few times before and for my hair it wasn't the most moisturizing product i've used from camille rose and i usually love products with a thick consistency for my hair because i usually get a really good hold from them but I find the results with the Curlade doesn't last as long as other products I've tried. But again, it's still a very good quality product that I would choose over certain products on the market out there. <laughs> so yeah, on the other side, I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Almond Jai. Again, I'm applying it liberally all over each section. And I'm only using one product on this side as well. And this product was actually one of my first loves from Camille Rose. I have found a few more favourites that I would rank above the almond jai but i do like the results this gives with my braid outs or my twist outs so yeah this is what my hair is looking like after i apply the products and it's looking pretty good if i do say so myself and so now i'm going to do the twist straight away Sometimes I really can't be arcs and I just do four twists <laughs> like today. But when I do have more time and energy, I do eight. And I hardly ever do more than eight because it just takes too much time. But obviously the more twists or more braids you do, the smaller the curl pattern will come out. So if you do prefer a smaller curl pattern, make sure you do smaller twists. I've opted for bigger twists because it takes less time, less energy, less effort. But the only thing is the roots can be an issue. So this is why I like to do a braid first and then twist just so that the roots get flattened. And also you can actually style your hair in the way that you want to wear it the next day. So if you want to side part in, make sure you part it off to the side before you do the braid out or the twist out. So that it's, you know, you don't have to like separate too much and cause a lot of frizz. So yeah, there's ways around doing it if you want to do big twists like I did today. But yeah, it just saves a lot of time. I really do recommend it. Or you can part the hair off in the style that you intend to wear it. For example, half up, half down. So you can do like the section where you wear it up and pull it in a hairband. And then you can do like two plaits or even four plaits at the back. This would save some time because literally I used to sit there for 45 minutes trying to do twists in my hair for a twist out. And it doesn't need to be that long. And sometimes you just don't have the energy to do your hair. You know so yeah like i said i'm just doing a twist i'm starting off with a plait to flatten the roots and i'm also making sure to start the plaits more to the center of my head i'm adding more products to the ends if it feels too dry and then i finger coil at the ends to secure it i'm adding perm rods at the ends today for a more uniform look and i like to do this when i'm due a trim um, because you know the ends could be wild sometimes so i find the perm rods help with that sometimes i can get away with it. if i got a fresh cut i don't need to use perm rods at all unless it's like too much of a blunt cut and it won't even hold a twist that's another problem 
So once I'm done, I wrap my hair up and I like to sleep with a hair scarf instead of a bonnet because it helps to keep the hair flat on top. And I just make sure that the hair is free at the back like so. So this is the next day now and because I added the product on damp hair, my hair does dry in 24 hours. So I say to wash and style your hair in the morning before you've got school or work so that your hair will be set in time. And if it isn't set, I just use a diffuser before I fluffed out my plaits to dry the roots fully because if you do take down your twists or braids while it's wet, it's going to be a hot frizzy mess. Um, that happened to me this week actually because I thought I could get away with it being even slightly not even damp, just slightly wet and it's still frizzed up on me. So make sure that it's fully dry before you take the twist down. And I'm using the oil to take down my hair today. You don't necessarily need to. And I'm just being very careful taking it down. I don't want to snag my hair. And before I separate the strands, I'm going to fluff out the roots first. I do find that this results in less frizz if I do it this way. My roots were a little bit damp still, so I used my diffuser and dried it before I proceeded to separate it. And then once it's all dry, I go ahead and separate the strands and I don't need to do a lot of separation at all with the technique I use. And the difference that I didn't actually mention, you probably didn't notice, was that I didn't brush my hair out. So once I apply the products, I didn't brush my hair out like I usually do and I find that I get the best results without brushing my hair through. So just apply the products like you're doing a wash and go, basically try to get that separation and then do the twist. So yeah, that's my little secret. <laughs> So once I'm done separating my hair, I'll go ahead and part it off to the side because I like a side part in with my hair. And then I'm applying a little bit of Eco Styler, I think it was, on top where the parting was because it was a little bit frizzy there at the roots. And then I'm doing my edges real quick. Honestly guys, it was so quick, so easy and effortless really. As for the results of the products, I didn't see much of a difference on either side <laughs> but as the days go by i could tell that the almond gel was more moisturizing more nourishing so yeah super happy with my results super happy with these two products but i would choose the almond gel over the curl aid any day if you want me to do a video of my camille rose favorites let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content for myself thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.